Well, surprisingly, we're back to a subject we were working on a couple of months ago, and that's electricity for model railroads. We've been working on the turntable for the model railroad, for the, the big F-scale model railroad we're building. And one of the problems that needs to be solved is getting power to the tracks. As the turntable itself rotates around, how do we connect that to the, the power bus? This whole section here rotates, and so we need to have some sort of an electrical slip joint at the bottom of this whole thing to carry the electricity from the track bus up to the rails on the turntable. This is a common problem in uh, electrics, uh, not just for model railroad turntables, but for all kinds of applications. And the solution has always been a thing called a slip ring, an electrical slip ring. And you can see here how this works. You've got brushes running on a drum and the electricity is carried uh, from the brushes which are fixed in position to the rotating drum in the center. Back in the dark ages in the 1980s and 90s when I was building a huge HO scale railroad in my house, one of the things that I built was a, an amusement pier with a fully functional carousel. An HO scale, mind you, with the horses that went up and down and 30 individual actual uh, incandescent lights. This was before surface mount LEDs. And so I was using 30 incandescent axial lights, one and a half volts. And I needed to have some way to get power to those lights as the carousel was rotating around. As a, as a kid, we actually had a carousel right in our neighborhood, and I even worked up there as a kid, and, and I spent a lot of time on this carousel figuring out how it works, which is, I guess, why I decided I wanted to model one. At any rate, I was very familiar with the huge slip ring at the top of the mechanism that carried the power out to the uh, lighting for the carousel. And frankly, I needed something much smaller than this, so I, I was trying to figure out what I could use. There are much smaller systems that are available for use in electronics, but I was looking for something much, much simpler than the commercially available uh, slip rings. And what I hit on was a, an eighth inch mini headphone jack, worked perfectly. And as this is a much larger system, I'll use a full-sized uh, headphone jack. I'm going to use a mono version of the jack, but it will mount neatly right to the bottom of the center shaft that goes all the way through to the track deck. The turntable bridge is mounted to a 16 millimeter brass tube, and that hollow tube goes all the way from the track deck at the top of the bridge to the bottom of the mechanism here where there's simply a 14 millimeter opening in the bottom of that 16 millimeter tube. And so I went to my usual parts store, which is to say Amazon, and purchased a package of quarter inch male mono jacks, as well as a package of female quarter inch plugs. Anyway, these, uh, these jacks here will mount to the bottom of the 16 millimeter tube and they're small enough that they fit neatly up inside the 14 millimeter opening and I will simply rig a plastic insulator there to hold the whole thing. But these quarter inch audio jacks are designed to rotate so that they don't tangle the cord. So this is absolutely perfect for what I want to do, an instant slip ring. The jack will mount neatly up inside the 14 millimeter tube uh, with a plastic tube holding the whole thing for insulation. And then I'm going to fabricate a brass uh, mounting bracket here for the plug so that the plug will be affixed uh, rigidly to the bottom of the railroad. And there's my slip ring. Simple piece of cake. Same exact thing that I did with my carousel 30 years ago only that was an eighth inch jack, uh, and this is a quarter inch jack. And back then with the carousel, I never had any flickering of the lights or anything. It always provided good uh, conductivity. As the whole thing rotated around, it worked just perfectly. And the fact that I'm using a, a stereo 
a plug with a mono jack I don't think will make any difference at all. It actually gives me another land for the electrical connection on the sleeve part of the plug. If you're not a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button. It really helps us out. And it's coming up right now, the blue button. Zoink, <laughs> right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday. See you then. Bye-bye.